Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing my BoxyCharm unboxing. So the theme of the month is sweater weather, which is so cute. I hate the cold weather, but the clothes make it worth it. Actually, I just went shopping because my birthday was the other day, and I went out and bought a bunch of sweaters, including this one. It's just a cute little pink sweater. It flips down over here, and it's got little pockets in the side, so I love that. I actually purchased a couple of different sweaters, and I ended up buying these cute slippers. How cute is that? There was a shoe sale going on, so I couldn't help myself. I had to go buy a bunch of shoes. <laughs> the first thing in the box is KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Masks. Um, I'm not actually going to be doing this today. I've already put on a full face of makeup besides what's in the box. And, I don't know, this just isn't really my thing. If they had stuck in, like, a lip sugar scrub, then I would have really wanted to try that out. But, not really into the whole lip mask thing. Face masks, yes, but not really a lip mask. So, I'm sorry about that, guys, but I'm actually just not going to try this today. I'm actually going to give them away to one of my friends. Um, it came with three different ones. Okay, so, the next item in here is the Luxie Quad Eye Travel Set. And it looks like they partnered up with BoxyCharm because it says BoxyCharm on the bottom. So yeah, these are the little travel set brushes. They're so cute. They actually match my sweater today, which is funny. I swear I didn't plan this out. I just, this is one of my new sweaters I got and I just wanted to wear it. But guess what better time when the theme of it is sweater weather. <laughs> so yeah, these are the brushes it comes with. It looks like it comes with one of those. I like to use these kind of brushes when it's like, I'm not in the mood to do actual eyeliner, but I take the eyeshadow and put it right up at the top. Or I put some on my lower lash line. And then it comes with a little fluffy angled brush, which I do love though. And then it comes with a little eyeshadow brush to put on your eyeshadow, like on the entire lid. And then another little fluffy brush to go, like, be more precise in your crease. So I'll be using those today along with one of my Morphe, like, fluffy shadow brushes because I don't think I can do a whole eye look without using a fluffier big brush. So yeah, I'll be trying those out with this new Winky Lux Kitten Palette that came in our box this month. I was so excited when I saw this. It comes with nine shadows in here and they look so pretty. I was really excited mostly about this shade right here, so no matter what I do today, like I have to incorporate this. It is the coolest shade I've ever seen. It's like duochrome or something. So it's like, looks pink, but then when you swatch it, and the light reflects in it. it has like reflects of like I don't know like a greenish blue I have not actually tested out any of these shades yet I've just swatched that one so I'm curious to see how well the rest of them work I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit while I do my eyes oh and by the way guys the names of the eyeshadows are on the back of the palette here I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for a look today but I want to try to use as many of the eyeshadows in this palette as I can today so I'm going to take the Luxie 213 T brush to put the eyeshadow on. I'm going to kind of just set the entire lid. All I have on right now is some concealer. I'm going to go in with the shade Duchess right here. And I'm just going to pack that all over my lid and brow bone. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe brush. It's just a fluffy tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Strut right here. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade kind of all over the crease. Love that shade strut for a transition shade and the color is really pigmented I actually tapped off my brush a little bit after dipping in I didn't have to like dig in at all they're super pigmented I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's called Cheshire it was so hard for me to say and I'm gonna take that and kind of put it on the outer corners and blend it in a little bit I actually love that shade so much. I ended up doing the outer corner and then working my way through the crease and then bringing it in on the inner corner a little bit. So I kind of did like a little bit of a halo effect with it. So then I'm going to go in with the shade I was most excited about, which is this holographic color. And I'm going to pop that on the center of my lid. I was going to use one of the brushes, but I think I'm just going to go in with my finger because typically those tend to come out more pigmented if I just use my finger. I think I'm going to go in a little bit more with Cheshire and just deepen up the purple a little bit. 
I know I didn't really put any shade in the crease to like deepen it up, but I think this halo effect looks deep enough. Um, but I am going to use the Luxie 227 brush and go ahead and do my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade Perf. Then I'm going to go in with Luxie 221 T brush, the li little liner brush, and I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to put in a little bit of Cheshire and then, then I'm going to blend it out a little bit more with Strut just so it's not too harsh. Okay, so this is how the eyeshadow turned out. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of mascara and then zoom you guys back out and try the rest of the products. I really love the way the eyeshadow turned out. I like that palette so much. I'm definitely going to continue using it. Those are some pretty colors and it blended so well and they were so pigmented. That purple, the Cheshire, and the Holographic I think are my two favorites. Okay, so the next thing in the box is the Lack of Cloud Lips. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. It's just a matte lipstick. Looks like I got a really dark shade. Um... The shade I got was Storm. Let me know if you guys got the same shade or not. I'm curious to know if everybody got this color. Okay, so this is the lipstick Storm on my lips. I gotta tell you guys, you know I don't like this dark of a lip. This is definitely not a color that I would reach for. Um, I just don't think it looks great on my fair skin. It feels really soft and smooth and matte, like it went on okay. My only issue is how big it is. It was really hard to apply without making a mess. That's why I definitely use a lip liner with this. It's not my favorite thing in the box, but it's fine. I loved everything else so far. Now the last and final thing was the thing I was most excited for, and it's the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I think the packaging on this is so cool. It's like a pearlescent white. I'm actually not going to lie, guys. When it comes to makeup, I only have so much self-control. You know that I always open up my boxes and take a look at everything just so I know what makeup to put on my face before I start filming. But this one, I couldn't help myself. I was really excited when this came in the box, so I've already sprayed it on my face once, and honestly, I'm really glad that I did because I didn't realize how much you need to shake this thing. Be sure that you shake it a lot, and I mean a lot. Um, when I sprayed this on my face... I looked like Edward from Twilight. I was that sparkly. <laughs> so I'm going to shake this up a lot and go ahead and spray it on my face and give it another try. Okay, so that is beautiful now. I just got done spraying my face with this. Now that I did shake this really well before using it, there's no glitter on my face whatsoever. It just looks really glowing and luminous. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference on the camera or not, but I definitely can in person. I was so excited to get this. Even if I didn't like anything else in the box, this would have made it worth it. Okay, guys, I know that looks so much different, but I seriously disliked the color of that lipstick so much I really didn't even want to finish filming this video with it on me. Okay guys so that's all the products that came in my box this month. So just to give you guys my final review, I absolutely love the eyeshadow palette. I think it's amazing. Super pigmented, easy to blend, love the colors. I'm definitely going to continue to using this. The brushes were really soft and worked very well. And you guys know that I'm most excited that we got this in the box. This is an amazing deal. Like, I can't believe it. I was actually going to go out and purchase this. After using it today, I absolutely love this product. So yeah, guys, that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.